workers regardless the nurse the doctors even the cleaners the one that send the food all will be under surveillance of uh, operations room the next uh, function is risk assessment after we have identified all these cat all categories of healthcare workers we will do the risk assessment. The reason of risk assessment is to see whether they can continue to work uh, in looking after patient or they need to be quarantined at home. And once uh, the healthcare workers uh, uh, have done, uh, we have done the risk assessment, we put them under daily surveillance. Okay. What we do during daily surveillance, all the healthcare workers, will, uh, we will ask about the symptom of COVID-19, such as fever, sore throat, coughing, uh, breathlessness, um, difficulty of breathing, or anosmia, uh, and GIT symptoms such as diarrhea. Um, so when they have symptoms, we will need to do a swap for them. The surveillance is um, will be continuous until the last day of exposure. When they have the last day of exposure with, uh, cause, uh, with COVID positive patients, uh, the surveillance, the daily surveillance will be up to 14 days. So it will be continuous when they keep on seeing, the, uh, keep on involved in patient care with COVID positive 19 patients. Uh, the surveillance will be continued until the last exposure. And nevertheless, uh, there is one special function of uh, this ops room is outbreak investigation. Okay. There is a, a scenario, real things happen, whereby we have um, healthcare workers that turn out to be positive. Uh, they have no contact with COVID, uh, no history of travelling, no history of uh, um, involved with patient care, uh, a patient who is a COVID-19 positive. Um, when they tell us that they have symptoms, uh, we did a swab and turn up to be positive. This is where very important we need to do uh, a very thorough uh, outbreak investigation in terms of to trace back in 48 hours before uh, the symptoms develop. Where does this healthcare worker have been? So, uh, hi, what I do is I'm part of the outbreak management team and over the last uh, six weeks, what we have been doing is we've been tracking the outbreak as it uh, propagates across the hospital. So we've had one major outbreak and all we've been doing is actually tracking each person that has come into contact with uh, positive cases. We actually work a little bit behind everybody else. Uh, the other teams generally work forward. When we get a case, we investigate at least two weeks behind, which is the incubation period. We see where this person has moved and we then try and build a network of where cases could possibly have contacts and as such where they could have possibly infected new cases. Our contact tracing team, basically we're taking care of our healthcare worker in hospital uh, uh, University of Malaya Medical Center. So we taking care of this healthcare worker by uh, looking actively to those healthcare workers who have been exposed to COVID patients in this hospital. Although we are in a lot of stress, basically uh, there's a lot of patients, but somehow we feel like we can handle it. And most of the staff in PPM show their appreciate, appreciation towards us. Lah. After we finish doing the risk assessment, there's also a specific line for a specific risk, for example, high risk, different plan, moderate risk, different plan, and uh, low risk, different plan. So when they do uh, risk assessment using this portal and system, it automatically gives the plan straight away when they want to do a swap, if they need to, uh, when they need not to come to work, and so much. Um, the best experience is we get to um, keep in touch or we get to, uh, to contact with um, the, those frontliners, those who really work with the COVID positive patient. So actually, um, when we contact them, we ask about their symptoms, it's not just like a robotic or automatic things. Sometimes they will reply like, thank you very much for your concern. And they will say good things to us like stay safe, kita jaga kita. See, the experience is very, very much cumulative. 
but at the same time it's fun when you're working with your friends it really doesn't feel like working at all it's totally having fun but you enjoy what you do but at the same time you learn everything you do have consequence but it's a matter of how much you appreciate what you do and the same we learn as a data management if if you want to check the how many patients are under surveillance or how many discharge how many patients are doing the daily routine their work and how they are managing we are getting the daily reports and preparing the number of patients how they are affected to the uh, coronavirus Kita jaga kita.